This is the Vauxhall Corsa, often one of the most popular first-time cars. In fact, for several years, this and the Ford Fiesta were the most popular choices for the new driver. The Ford Fiesta, however, is soon to be a goner, as Ford are discontinuing that model very soon. And it's no surprise, really, as it has dropped off the radar in recent years. The Corsa, however, is making a bit of a revival. My first ever car was a Corsa, an old burgundy one, and I'll be honest, it was no looker. These days though, the Corsa's looking pretty sharp, and it makes an ideal first car because it's affordable, it looks pretty good, and it does exactly what it needs to do. It's no wonder that in the UK, over two million of these have been sold. The new styling on the Corsa is looking a little bit sharper, and I've got to admit it was looking a little bit dated. Now though, they're looking pretty sharp, pretty sleek, and a little bit sportier, even the base models. It's around five centimetres shorter than it used to be, the bonnet's a little bit longer, and it's a little bit lighter than it was. This particular model has 16 inch alloy wheels, but you can upgrade those to 17 inch if you prefer. You can even opt for the roof to be painted the same colour as the body, or even add a panoramic sunroof. But these kind of upgrades will really bump that price up. A base model will set you back around £20,000 on the Vauxhall website. However, we've got loads of options in stock, so why not visit the website or come down to one of the showrooms and see what we've got in stock and you could save yourself a pretty penny. Now I said before that you know what you're getting from a Vauxhall Corsa, however that's somewhat changed with the new design because it's got a little bit more room in the front, which we'll get to in a minute, and it's got a little bit of a bigger boot space. How big? Let's find out with our boot test. I've got my trusty shopping bags here, so we'll throw these in and see how well they fit. We've got three there in the back. We've probably got room for another couple. Squeeze those in there. And that's a five bag boot, which is a little bit more than it was before. So whilst the boot and the front may be slightly bigger, the rear is slightly smaller. Leg room and head, head room is reduced. Three adults would struggle in the back of here. However, for children, younger passengers, it wouldn't be an issue. And there is Isofix for your child seats. Apart from that, there's not a great else to say about the back, to be fair. Jumping in the front, and this feels a million miles away from that old car so that I used to drive. It looks sleek, it looks stylish. It feels like a more upmarket car. We've got leather steering wheel, leather on the doors. The plastics are not, they don't feel cheap. They feel nice and well made. We've got a touchscreen. Um, infotainment system here with lots of information on it we've got sat nav on this particular model we've got cruise control dab radio it's even got front and rear sensors as well as a rear parking camera all round this is a fantastic looking car climate control is separate however it is set back a little bit from the media screen but it's still fairly easy to get to and we've got heated seats all round i think this is a a brilliant looking car i wish i'd had this instead of my old corsa I wonder if it drives better too. Let's have a look and see. So with this car being one of the most popular first time cars, I think it's a fair assumption to say that that's who it's aimed at. The new driver or a relatively new driver, a young driver, and if that's the case, then Vauxhall have done a fantastic job with this and they've taken safety extremely seriously. We've got blind spot indicators on the wing mirrors. We've got a collision warning system. So if the car's in front of braking a little, little harshly and you've not responded, it will warn and flash and beep and make sure you're alert to that danger. It's got a driver drowsiness system so it can detect whether maybe you're not responding in a timely manner to steering and staying in lane or using your accelerator maybe you're drifting and the car's slowing down and you're not doing anything it will respond to that and it will warn you that it's maybe time to take a break so safety wise as well as all the airbags and everything that, that all these cars have anyway standard this is a very very safe car now my daughter's around 12 months or so away from starting to learn to drive and this is the kind of car i'll be looking at for her you know, this is the kind of car I want her in. 
it's safe, it's reliable, you know what you're getting, as I've said before, with a Vauxhall. The touchscreen is responsive, the sat nav is nice and clear, it's easy to use, and it's a comfortable drive with, I've got to say, extremely good visibility all around, even out the rear window. With it being a smaller car, you tend to not get as great a visibility out the back, but this is fantastic. We've got DAB radio, so you can get all your favorite tunes on there. You can connect your phone and your apps, so there's no temptation for picking your phone up and having it in your hand, it's all on the screen. It, you know, it just does everything that it needs to do for a young or new driver. This is a 1.2 litre petrol engine, automatic gearbox. It produces around 100 brake horsepower. There is a 75 brake horsepower model as well. But I've got to say this is, whilst it's only 100 brake horsepower and it's not gonna, it's not gonna break any land speed records, but again, you don't want that for, for a new driver. But it's not exactly a lazy engine. You put your foot down and it pulls away nicely. Doesn't lunge, it doesn't shoot off the mark, but it gets you away. Pulling out of a junction, it responds quick enough. There's not a great deal of lag when you put your foot down and it just, it, it just moves away nicely. And that, again, it's what you want from a car like this. I've got fantastic visibility all around, very little in the way of blind spots. Um, it looks like they've changed it because I've got a Vauxhall Astra, which I know is a slightly different model and this pillar here on the Astra that I've got it creates a, a, quite a big blind spot this one is fine I can see all around I've got a great size windscreen great size windows even out of the back the back window is big enough that I can see everything I need to see so visibility wise it's fantastic I'm getting enough feedback through the steering wheel to feel connected to the road but without being uncomfortable and juttering about it's handling the corners beautifully. The steering is light enough that I can steer with ease. I'm going to do a full turn here and see what it's like. Beautiful. It's got a great turning circle. Get pulling out of the junction and I'm away again. It doesn't lunge away from the junction when you put your foot down. It, it eases away gracefully. Now the 100 brake horsepower has enough oomph to get you away from a junction with ease. But without lunging and without accelerating too harshly I mean it pulled away from the junction on a steep hill with no issues at all the hill didn't cause a problem the traffic however does I need to remember not to come out and review these cars at peak times so we've driven the car around the village roads country roads and it feels superb let's see what it's like around town I will maybe even test what it's like to park. So we'll pull into this car park now and see what it's like to do a bay park. So we'll find ourselves a parking space. There's one now. Let's have a look. Nice and easy. Spin it out, reverse in. Again, I've got the reversing camera with guides. So it's dead easy to put it centrally into that space. And there we go, we're parked. I mean, <laughs> you can't get much easier than that, to be fair. So what do I think? Well, the Vauxhall Corsa is now classier and more desirable than it used to be. So it'd be more appealing to new drivers or those that just want a nice small car. Any negatives are far outweighed by the positives. In my opinion, it's a great buy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all our videos. Visit the website if you'd like to take a look at the 4,000 cars we've got in stock across all four sites. We'll see you next time.